honey. We're going to be eating at Zaxby's today. So here we go. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, um, what you want to drink? I mean, what you want to eat, Frank? Hold on one minute, please, ma'am. Sorry about that. I want some cream fries and uh, 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 uh. You want a chicken finger plate? What? You want a chicken finger plate? Uh, uh, that'd be all right, yeah. Okay. All right, I would like the um, five fingers um, chicken finger plate. What's the drink? Uh, Coke. What else for you? Then I would like another chicken fingers um, plate. I like the five. How many fingers? Five. What's the drink? Uh, a large sweet tea. What else for you? And that will be it. Alright, it's only 1956. Alright, thank you, ma'am. Alright, guys, so we're eating at Zaxby's. Cannot wait. Love me some Zaxby's. And thank you to Holly for the $15 gift card. Truly sure appreciate it, honey. Alright, guys, we, uh, we got the food right here. We ate at Zaxby's. Let's see. Alright, Frank, here's the chicken finger plate. Alright. You gotta love Zaxxas. Whenever you go, you gotta love Zaxxas. You got it? Alright, honey. Damn, that's a big order right there, Frank. There you go, that's for your coleslaw. Alright, guys. Let me see if mine's big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Alright guys, I love Zaxby's fries, and that's the first thing I get when I order, I get the french fries, I eat them first. Mm. So how's everybody's Friday going? I'm hoping everybody's having a great Friday. I'm off today, thank God. Um. So, I decided to go ahead and just do a mukbang, you know. Well, shit, Frank, we do one every Friday, so that ain't nothing different. Pretty large sweet tea right here. Ooh, ooh, the Men in Black. I think this is, what, the fourth installment? And I don't know the people that's on it. God, hell. I thought Will Smith was supposed to be playing back in it. International? The hell? Men in Black International? Well, shit, Frank, me and you should play in it then. Nope. Do what? You want to play in the movie? Mm -hmm. Hell, I know, right? You're movie enough already. Hell. <laughs> hell, you got the moves, honey. If it's gonna rain, go ahead and fucking rain. Hell, are you looking at? Hey. This man, that damn white bicycle. No, look. How you doing? How you doing, bitch? Alright, honey. Damn. Which one, I don't know what's better, this Texas toast or the fucking fries. Mmm. Mmm. And they just put right amount of seasoning on it, too. Alright, guys, we got some questions today. You ready for some questions, Frank? Shit, that's a pretty big chicken right there. <laughs> you pick it up and eat the shit. Shit, we got people down over here looking like fucking paparazzi, I guess, up in the air. Okay. Alright, guys. Number one. Advice on someone young dating for the first time being gay. The first time dating. Wow. I remember my young gay self. Wow. Yeah. What you looking at? You looking at that woman across the street? Mm -hmm. 
that you are. Um, my advice would be be yourself, love yourself, never be ashamed of holding hands or all that stuff, never be ashamed to do that. Just always be yourself and um, love the person regardless. And a freaking damn thing had to come. A transfer truck. Take your ass on some damn where. Now I'm not anti. Um, I'm not anti truck, but damn. All right, but yeah, just be yourself. Hold hands. You know, don't care what other people think, because when we care about what other people think, that's when we lose sight on our love for people. That's right. Just you know, just be yourself. Okay, honey, that would be the best advice. Number two, do you plan on attending VidCon? No, I do not. Um, I've always wanted to attend VidCon, though, but that's out there in, what, Anaheim? It's kind of expensive to get a plane ticket to California. It's like, here's like four to $500 from Georgia to, um, Los, to like California. Los Angeles, San Diego, Anaheim, all that. It's like four to, roughly four to $600. But I want to attend so bad, though. Number three, what's your favorite thing to do during the summer? You know, sometimes these theaters around us, they have, like, these movies. Like, they show, especially at the Fox, they have this thing called um, Summer of the Movies or something. And it has, uh, like, oldies, like, what, Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory, Gone with the Wind, Fried Green Tomatoes. All these kind of fried green tomatoes, not tomatoes. Um, you know, they have them on the big screen. I love them. Love going to see, um, see them. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my favorite thing during the summer. And also, hell, hanging out, eating ice cream, stuff like that, swimming. Gotta love that. All right, Frank, what's your favorite thing during the summer? Got now. What? Cutting grass? Hell, that's what you and Robert always do. Might as well say that's your favorite thing do, to do during the summer. Shit. Y'all, uh, shit. If y'all do nothing else, it's cutting grass. Y'all should have a business. 1 800 call Robert. Robert ain't calling me. I ain't say that. I can more you my that. Robert, you're looking at the phone light. Okay, number four. What would you? What would your wrestling name be? The fabulous Justina. That would probably be. That would probably be the name. The fabulous Justina. What would your wrestling name be? I got it. Frank the Grinch. It'll work during Christmas, won't it? Or the shaking head no, Frank. <laughs> Do you like the Golden Girls? Hell yeah. Um, TV Land always has the Golden Girls on, I think it's like a marathon that they have on Sundays. Let me just say, got to love the Golden Girls. Quit fucking talking, bitch, okay? Quit fucking talking. But yeah, if I was a golden girl, I would probably have to be Blanche. You know, I'm horny. No fuck. God, look how you talk to your kids. You're a dumbass, you know that. But yeah, um, I would have to be Blanche. I'm horny all the time. I love guys. Who would you be? No one. I have a feeling that you would be Rose. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you would be Rose. Ooh, I didn't mean to spill your drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be Rose now. And mm -hmm. You're like, I, 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 could, I could see you every day come sitting at the coffee table. Well, I don't know what we're going to be doing today, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Oh, you could be fucking Sophia. 
<laughs> no. I'm going back to bed. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now people gonna label this video as shaking head. That's what they're gonna label it as. Mm -hmm. What's your best memory with your parents? Going on vacation. I always love going on vacation with my parents. Um, whether it be Myrtle Beach, Brunswick, Georgia, um, where Myrtle, uh, what? What did I say? Did I always say Myrtle Beach? Yeah. Pigeon Forge. Those are the three spots that me and my family always went to. And I loved them. Everywhere we always had something to do. We always ate shit. Especially in the summertime on the beach. Eating seafood. Fuck yeah. Who doesn't love that? Gotta love seafood now. Um. What was your best memory with your parents being together because i was about to say you can't say you ain't you don't have one or you can't shake your head of that now being together but but going more in debt what did y'all do did you enjoy the ride to town when you was younger or what you enjoy doing What I enjoy. Yes, what did enjoy, you enjoy? I enjoy spending time with my grandparents. Okay, well that's good. I was about to say you about to say you enjoy eating chicken, but you know, that wasn't that what what the comment I mean that's what what the question was saying. Alright guys. Number seven. My mom, Debbie and I love your videos. Do you prefer country boys or city boys? Love you, hun. Love you, too. But, man, I just love a good old country boy. And what the hell are you throwing out the window? Right. No. Especially in blue jeans now with boots. Unbuttoned down shirt. Ooh. Are you talking Fuck about it. your queer skirt again? I do what? You talking about your queer skirt again? I want to talk about whatever I want. Whatever the, whatever the fans want me to talk about, I'm going to talk about, okay? Are, are, are you telling the car there, fuck yourself? No. My heart. Your heart? My mouth. Your mouth? Over oh, yonder. And what come out of it, what I mean. Okay. Everybody's got their own opinion. But I respect your opinion, but I got my opinion, too. In my life, what I do in my life is concerning nobody's business. You know that? Mm -hmm. yep. So everybody got their own life. Mm -hmm. You know, we might not like what each other does in our life, but guess what? We should remain respectful of everybody and love everybody regardless of who they are. So do you prefer country women or city women? Mountain women. Ooh, God, you want them? Ooh, you want them mountain women? Shit, you go, boy. Good fine cooking. Ooh. Well, see, I'm into the country. He's into the mountains. So, hell, we put it all together. We might get Tennessee. And <laughs> ain't that right? Uh -uh. You know you love Tennessee, especially Cave Cove and all that kind of stuff. No. Nope. Well, why in the hell do you go then? I bet you don't even know. I as bet you don't Georgia, even know why you go. As far as Georgia, they go down to South Carolina. But Cage Co is not in Georgia and it's not in South Carolina. It's in Tennessee. No, I ain't going that far up. Hmm. Boy. Number eight. What do you do on bad days to help you feel better? Honey, what I do is I listen to music. Music is my life. Even Uncle Frank can tell you that because he doesn't even like music. He's like, that boy listens to music 24-7. Ain't that right? 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to create a damn bobblehead and, and instead of doing this bobbling, you're going to be knowing. But yeah. So yeah, when I feel bad, love to talk to friends, um, listen to music to help me cheer up. That's always cheers me up. Damn it, I'm eating this french fry like I'm eating a damn cracker. Mm. But if it was a cracker, it would be good. It would be a good damn cracker. All right, number nine. Oh, well, number eight. Okay, I'm still. We're still gonna get Frank to put on this. What do you do on a bad day to make you feel better? Sleep. 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 Well, I can understand. You know, sleep is good for meditate. But how can sleep help you? Because you don't know what you're doing when you're asleep. You don't need to know. <laughs> do what? You don't need to know. Mm, and I want to. It gets horny. No. I didn't say horny. Well, it sounds like you said horny. Mm -mm. You want to put the words in. I know. The pleasure of thought. What horny does? No. I didn't say damn horny. Well, what you say then? I ain't going to say a no, no. No, no. Are you camera shy? Let's get let's get the question out there. No. But why do you talk more when the camera's not rolling? But when the camera's rolling, you want to not talk. That don't make a lick of sense, but okay. All right. Number nine. Do you miss your mama? I can't imagine life without mine. Yes, honey, I do. I do miss my mom. Um, this coming Sunday. Uh, will mark the 10th anniversary of my mother's passing. And it's going to be a sad day because 10 years without my mom and you know, you you miss her, you really do. And it's sad, you know, knowing that your loved one has left this world. But at the same time, they're still here. They're still here with you, watching every, watching over you and watching everything you do. And you always want to make your mom proud. Your mama, your daddy, whatever the case may be. You want to make them proud. And they're still watching you. And don't, and it, like, they're not here physically with you, but emotionally, they're here with you. And um, I'm going to take this time on June 9th to remember my mother. And it's, um, it's going to be a sad day. It really is. But um, I'm I'm glad that she's still here with me though, and still cares about me um, emotionally. I because I love my mama. Um, that's one thing that everybody said. Justin, you're a mama's boy. Yes, I am. And um, I've always been a mama's boy since I was little. And I cannot wait to see her again. After I leave this world. All right, no. What are you doing? Eating. Eating. Uh, uh, number ten. How old is your brother? My brother is born in '72. So what does that make? Eighty-two, ninety-two. Forty-seven. Am I correct? Fucker can't be 47. Mm -hmm. Damn. He is old, isn't he? He is older. Shit. I, hell, I thought he was like 44, 45, something like that, but 47? Hell, ain't nothing wrong with 47. Hell, that's the same age my mother passed away. I was 47 years old. I guess so, yeah, because mom was born in 61. Yeah. Um, number 11. Do you believe in nightstands? Honey, the only nightstand I would want is beside my bed. That would be the only nightstand that I would want. Because these one nightstands, fuck no. Because I don't see how people can go have sex and 
meet the person the same night, take them home, have sex, and you feel no emotions. I know you. I know you're scared going through it. You know about to go into it, but at the same damn time, you don't have no interest. You haven't met the person for a long time. I could understand probably like after the third or fourth date. But for one night, really? Oh, my Lord. I don't see how people can fuck. <laughs> the same night that they meet. What do you think about one night stands? If you get a good woman, yeah. So you telling me you're a fucking woman on the first night? Mm hmm Oh, my God. You would have sex with a woman on the first night y'all meet. That's a good way to meet her. <laughs> yes, I guess it's a good way to meet her and the pussy too, isn't it? Well, you got to have both of them at the same time. Oh, my God. Okay, then. All right, then, Frank. I see where Frank goes. All right, number 12, do you like AEW wrestling? Well, AEW double or nothing. To me, it was a great event. I love AEW. Um, do I have a feeling that AWE, AWE, shit, AEW will beat WWE? In some senses, yes. In some, no. Like, WWE still has a lot of the top stars already. Hulk Hogan, Roman Reigns, John Cena. The only way I could see AEW could be picking up more would be if they saw Hulk Hogan or John Cena or The Rock, even Goldberg, Undertaker, from WWE. That would be the only way that they would probably beat WWE's ratings. But their show that they put on, freaking fantastic. Goldberg, not Goldberg, shit. Gold Dust versus Cody was a great match. Well, Dustin Rose in AEW. But the match that they had at Fastlane, it sucked. WWE could not build that match worth a damn. But AEW did. And also, the Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho, I believe their second match was better than the first one. I believe. Um, but that was two great matches in one night. And who can beat it? You can't. Alright, number 13. What would your perfect date look like? Perfect date. A good old country boy, you know. Uh, you know, because I love the southern hospitality from guys. I really do. And maybe going to the movies, go out to eat, maybe some Longhorns, Applebee's, you never know about that. And I'm sitting right here, we got Longhorns sitting right in front of us, Applebee's on the, on the neck down. Shit. Uh, but yeah, that would probably be good right there. That would probably be the best first date. So what would be, so what would be your perfect date? Well, you say you wanted a mount woman. Where we all go eat? Country school. Country school? Country food. Oh, I, I say said country school. I'm sure she could school you on being mountain. I'm sure she could. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> you very cute. Oh, thanks, hon. You very cute. Okay, do you, uh, number 14, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have four cats. I have four kitties, and I love them all. Number 15, is your family accepting of you? No. But I don't give a damn. I'm still going to be me. The hell with their opinion. It's kind of like this. Everybody's got, a, everybody's got a opinions. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And I come to the conclusion they do. Alright, honeys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow my social media. Social media. Social media. Um, I'll have my Instagram and then my Snapchat right here. Love you, honeys. Bye. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe.
You gonna tell him bye, Frank? So we're getting from deuces to whatever. Love you, honeys. Bye.